Andy, what on earth are you doing? Hi, Debbie. I'm watering this sweet bay magnolia here, you know, because it's a drought, so yeah. it needs more water. You are wasting gallons and gallons of water that you don't need to waste, Andy. There's a drought. So? That's okay. You can have a beautiful landscape and save water if you practice zeroscape principles. Zero scape? You mean you want me to plow up my scape and not have any scape? I like my scape. No, no, not zero scape. scape. Zero scape. Plan your landscape so that it's water efficient and you can save water and have a beautiful landscape at the same time. Whoa! Come over here and let me show you what we're doing. Oh, okay. Um, Come on. Okay, yeah. Andy, the first thing that you need to know about Xeriscape is planning your landscape. Mm -hmm. If you plan your landscape so that the plants that have similar water needs are grouped together, that way you'll help you save water. Oh, okay. So I need to group my plants together that have similar water needs and, and they'll all get along. Right, right. Okay. Good. And then the next and one of the most important steps is having a soil test conducted. <gasps> it, if you take samples of soil from your yard mm -hmm. and mix it together and put the sample in this bag and send it off to the extension office, they will send you a report that tells you exactly how much fertilizer you need to put in your yard and how much organic amendments. So I would dig up some dirt and put it in this little airsick bag here and send it, um, send it, oh look, fill out your name here and send That's it. That's the test part. The test part. <laughs> and so they would tell me um, how to plant and if I should move or not. Well, hopefully you wouldn't have to move. Oh, hopefully okay. you would just be able to use the right amounts of fertilizer oh, to have okay. a healthy landscape. Oh, okay, good. All right. So, Debbie, if I'm going to group my plants together for watering, what kind of plants should I use? Well, you want to use plants that won't require a lot of supplemental water once oh. they're established. Supplemental water. I like it. It's very professional. Right. It's supplemental. Right. This is flowering quince, which is beautiful this time of year. It's mm -hmm. one of the few things that's blooming this time of year. Mm -hmm. And this is the spreading or creeping rosemary, and it flowers almost all year long. You can see it's flowering also. So these are winter surprises that you can get. From this the is my favorite day. cologne to do this. Right. With the rosemary. That don't require a lot of supplemental water. Okay. 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 Another plant that I got Andy. Oh wow, this is dormant right now, but these are beautiful when they bloom in the spring, right? Andy, that's a shovel. Oh, sorry. What I did get, I got from the potting shed, is this Carolina Sapphire <gasps> Cypress, oh. and Molly and Nicole are coming now today to bring us some want, more plants. I want to grow one of these to, to make it into the world's largest bonsai tree. That's a new hobby. Okay, Guinness Andy. Book. Hoping that'll happen. Oh, they have some more at the potting shed. Oh, They'll good, sell good. you one. And they've got some other plants here from the potting shed. Yes. Hi, Hi thank you for bringing these. Hi. These are sedum. I see them right there. <laughs> and this little cute sedum is also, its nickname is Hen and Chicks. It's a little chicka to what chicka to what. Yes, precious. I like that. And, and then Molly has some Nandina. Those give us some good wintertime color in the garden as well. They do. They, and, and they grow really well around here because I have to weed whack them at my house. They really do beautifully. And you're so lucky to have to do that because they're just yeah. really fabulous plants. And some put berries out too. They do. <gasps> they do. They, they do. have a bright, shiny red berry. But these are all good examples of plants that are drought tolerant. All right. Very so they cool. don't have to be watered and watered and watered and watered and watered. Okay, so uh, I got this back and I thought it was coffee, brewed it up, forgot that I'd sent it. A uh, soil sample. Um, so, and it says that I need some amendment. What is that word? Amendments. Amendments. If you add organic amendments to the organic soil, the yes. plants will be happier oh, and okay. they will need a lot less water. Well, how do I go about doing that? Well, you can buy organic amendments at local stores like okay. Mayfield Hardware. Right. They right. have bags, bags of compost of amendments. and uh -huh. amendments. Yeah. Or you can make your own at home. Oh, neat. At Mayfield, you can also get a compost bin and you can make your own compost. Look. So this is the little bin right here, and it comes in the box, and you get that in the back of your Chevy Geo. Right. Yeah. All right, cool. And and what do you do with that? And then you can dump into the compost bin things like leaves. Where do you buy the leaves? The best part of all is that the leaves are free. Your trees give them to you every single year. What an incredible so value. instead of blowing the leaves to the curb yeah. and bagging them up, you this can put noisy. them in the compost bin. Cool. And you can add kitchen scraps like vegetable and fruit peelings mm -hmm. and coffee grounds. Mm-hmm. And then you'll have... And meat? No, no meat. No, no meat. You can't okay. add meat. No meats, bones, or fats in the All compost right. bin. All right, I'm sorry. It would attract scavengers. I wouldn't do that. But the finished result is a good, rich compost mix mm. like this. And your plants will be so happy. Yeah, look at that. That's, that They'll love delicious. it. You made this yourself? I did. You're an amazing cook. So you can do this with kitchen scraps, banana peels, coffee grounds, but meat is forbidden. 
Okay, so I've uh, I've sent my soil sample off in the little coffee bag, right. and it came back, and I mended my soil with some compost, and we've put the plants in. Now what? The last step toward healthy, happy plants is efficient watering and water retention. Okay. So when you water, you mm -hmm. want to water efficiently so that you don't waste any water, and your plants get the maximum benefit from it. This is a soaker hose that you mm -hmm. can get at Mayfield Hardware, oh. and the water seeps slowly out of tiny little holes in the hose. And you wrap this around in the flower bed around the plants, and then you cover it with mulch. And the mulch is the next step toward holding that water in. I'm going to miss my squirty hose because you know it's more fun to play, you know, in the squirty hose. I'm and sorry. To play in a circular hose, you kind of have to just lay down in it and go woo. But it's not the same effect. <laughs> no, not quite. Okay, but, but that'll look nice because you because you, you, you don't see it, so it'll right. look nice. You'll you'll right. you'll cover it up with mulch. Okay. And for mulch, you can get pine straw by mm -hmm. the bale if you don't have pine trees in your yard. Yes. I bought this pile of pine straw. All right, and? Or you can get, for free, you can get chipped wood mulch at the recycling center at Turner Street. One word of caution, mm -hmm. you don't want to use this type of mulch around the foundation of the house. You want to stick with pine straw because that's bug resistant and won't attract termites. Oh, okay, so the, the, the termites come to the pine straw, they go, mm -hmm. this pine straw's not working for me, and they go away, but. Hopefully. Okay, good. So this kind of mulch is quite safe to use in beds away from the house in okay. the yard. Okay, cool. All right, we'll try that. But if you put all of this together, you will have one of the most beautiful yards in the neighborhood, and your water bill will be a lot lower. Oh, that's good, because l lower is good, because it's less money. Right. So, we have uh, we tested the soil, we put it in the little uh, coffee bag, we sent it to Athens, right. came back, we learned about it, we composted, right. we amended the soil, we put in the plant, we put on the mulch, we got some store-bought pine straw, we got some free mulch, and all of this will help you save water. Help us save water. All right, yes. well, thanks a lot. Save water. <laughs>